Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today it's just gonna be a quick video showing you guys how to do the BCC bulge effect. So pretty much uh it's pretty simple. First of all, uh what you wanna do is you wanna find like let's say uh, a good time to cut the clip so so uh, when he says tripping, it, the music kind of fades out. So uh, uh, you want to cut it there and then just go five frames before the kill like I usually do. And then push up BB BCC bulge and just apply that. Now, the next step is just to go to view playback resolution and make sure it's on one fourth so you can uh, watch it without having to render it. Now, at first, this will look really weird, but then uh, once you get the settings right, uh, it, it won't be a problem. So first of all, uh, change the center point to uh, 960 by 540. So it's in the center of your screen. And then you want to keyframe this at zero and uh, turn the perspective to make sure it's on 10, radius, one, two, one. Paper should be 30, stretch uh, 0.2, and that's about it. Now, uh, the next step is you want to make sure that uh, you are, you're, like, you have to make sure that uh, the time remapping is correct for the effect. So, let's go to around where we want to start bulging it. So, I kind of want to bulge it right after this ramp edit, so... Uh, I'm going to keyframe this height here. I say about 5 frames before the end. We should put uh, keyframe 0 again and go 5 frames before that and make it negative 28. Now let's just drop this down. Make sure it is eased in. Okay, so pretty much, uh, realize five's a little too much, so let's just go one, two, I think, and this should be good. Yeah, so to a point where you can see like a little dot in between, like that. And now you just want to make sure these two are dragged to the really end. Okay, so. And once you're done with this part, then you should just uh, probably save this as a preset if you want to. Now you don't need to, but uh, what I do recommend is that you do. Now, uh, last thing, just really quickly, you want to kind of um just pull these back a bit so you can actually manage them yeah okay so uh you want to zoom in and you want to go to the side we just turn off the phone noise okay uh so pretty much um you want to just make sure that these are keyframed correctly so Okay, now move these to the end. And then now once you're done with that, I say just nest this. And then go to uh, Twixter. And I already have a slow-mo preset, so you can just kind of uh, copy what I did here. So, uh, what I pretty much did was... Uh, speed 100% all the way up. Okay, so there we go. Uh, now it's working. 
And this is pays to be bold again. Uh, and if it's orange, I guess it's the render it then. That, uh, I guess that's what solves the problem. And then now we just next this uh, second part and we just put the other preset. Now, uh, if you guys want to know, uh, all these are all these presets are in my free pack. So if you don't want to do any of the work, I mean, it's up to you. So pretty much, it's just slow down to 90 and then down to uh, the lowest point is at 20, uh, 100 to 20, and next part let's just render it out again and also free packs is really easy to get just uh subscribe and uh, uh follow my twitter and then uh yeah. so uh, a lot of people have also mentioned that the link keeps bringing them to redirects D just don't follow that just keep uh clicking on the um subscribe button to the uh, subscribe to button until it uh, brings you to it uh, this looks perfect as you can see, that's how you would want to do a bulge effect. It works really well with the vignette as well. So let's just search vignette. Let's just render that out. And I'll show you guys the end result. So pretty much everything here is in my well, it's in my free pack. And yeah, so don't worry if you guys don't know how to do this yourself. It's really simple to get my free pack. And if you join my Discord server, the free pack link should just be there. So And look at that so yeah that's pretty perfect i'd say and that's gonna be about it for the video and i'll see you guys in the next one